This video will most likely be blocked from certain points in the world due to copyright, so if you would, please help share this video in any way you can, and even be sure to become a member of the channel. Super quick and super simple. Anyway, here's the video you came for. Marker. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another reaction. This one's actually been a while coming. Uh, been really super busy with a lot of stuff, but uh, with all that aside, let's crack open a freaking Arizona sweet tea, and let's get into it. That's not how you do it, bro. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. That's really good. I do like that one. Welcome back to another daily video. My name's Joel from Roomy Official, and once again, one of my friends have betrayed me. So me and my ex-friend, Black Griffin, both do <laughs> singing impression videos. And just a couple months ago, I did this video called One Guy 17 Voices. Yep. However, just the other day, now he released One Guy 18 Voices. Uh, he should come up with his own ideas. Anyway, today I thought that we would rank. We're gonna look at his impressions, contra my impressions, see who is the superior singing impressionist. I'm gonna need some apple juice for this one. <laughs> Don't worry, it's apple juice. Merch here. Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Brown, or Black Griffin. I was recently-ish challenged by Rumi Official to make a better impression video than him. But not only will I rise to your challenge, Rumi, I have made a shot-for-shot -shot remake of your video. Why? Make your own videos. Plus one impression. <laughs> That's right, I'm literally one-upping you. Let's get started. That's not a bad idea, actually, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna give him that one. One extra voice. Okay, okay. Anyway. Okay, compared to mine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the weekend to myself, and I'm gonna tell you why. Black Griffin has a tendency to sound like Maroon 5's Adam Levine up top. Adam Levine has a lot of twang up top, something that the weekend does not. The weekend has a lot more of a softer tone up there, you know, like what I was doing. Black Griffin also went for this kind of very open note up there, which the weekend would never do. On that, never let you go. Listen to this. And let's listen to actual The Weeknd for a second. So he's going, go. And what do I do? I do closer. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, but <laughs> we got one, me, zero, Gabe. Let's keep going. I don't get it. It did like a weird forced falsetto flip. That's not how you do it, bro. Does mine sound better or not? I, I, I got to actually double check. Yeah, me, my son's more like, eh. And what does yeah. she Yeah. Does she sound like, meh? Does she sound like, eh? <laughs> it's closer to mine. I gotta say, it's more of an eh than it is, <laughs> I'm not biased in this at all, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself enough. Yeah, I, I'd always I'd also just been thinking, like, you're kind of biased right now. And I, I, I was thinking about saying narcissistic, but at the same time, I, I, a lot of my comment section would not take that as a joke. Even if it's meant to be one. Anyway, let's keep moving forward. Other point. Congratulations, Joel from Rumi Official. You're doing great. Gabe, not so much. Hey. He did my thing. That's actually not too <laughs> bad. Except I honestly think Rumi was a little closer to um, Post Malone there. But I mean, Gabe still did pretty good. But I, I give more of the points to, to Rumi here. Okay, I guess that's kind of close. There's something weird about his voice in this. It sounds like messed with or something. It sounds pitched down to me. I don't know what it is. It doesn't sound like something you can do with your voice. I don't know about this one, Gabe. I'm gonna go by the benefit of the doubt, like with whatever you've done to your vocal here, fella. I'm gonna go ahead and say that yours was a little bit closer. That's one point for you, two points for me. Eh, no I don't one know. can say I'm not fair. Let's move on to the next voice.
I think we've nailed different parts of Michael Jackson's voice. Well, nailed. None of us nailed Michael Jackson. It's almost like no one can, but it's such a weird. Yeah, it's like uh, that uh, freaking um, Twenty One Pilots with uh, uh, Tyler. I, I can't remember his last name, but um, there are just some artists that you cannot be on the point with because it, i mean their voice is just so unique you know kind of like ozzy osbourne for example you know nobody can match that good voice in a good way in a good way okay i like his eye that's really good that's really close but i think overall tonality wise i think i'm closer kind of sit sit is kind of like that let's listen to his sit he went more more for said, but it's more like said. Let's see what I did. I gotta give this one to myself. Sorry, Gabe. Do better. So far, three for Joel. One little point for Gabe. He gets one little ounce. I kind of see where Rumi's going with this, actually. I can accept that. You so freaking precious when you smile. <laughs> yeah. He did from the back and drive you wild. <laughs> it's not like uh, Miranda sings or something. <laughs> some of that was good and some of it was just laughable. Let's see what I got. That's on my end with the ad. I know that song really well. I gotta say, I'm a lot closer. One of the main things I think Black Griffin got wrong on this one is just the tonality. I think Bozzy's voice is like a little bit higher. He needs to kind of, eh. and I think I nailed that a little bit better. Joel from Roomy Fisher, you did good. You got four points. Gabe's got one little point. <laughs> He's looking at the viewfinder on the camera, like he's looking at his own reflection or like the picture of himself. Like, yeah, I'm so hot. <laughs> I feel like he really encapsulated that. I'm gonna give him a half a point for that. That is good acting. I'm gonna give him that. Okay, uh, Gabe, you're getting half a point right there. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> Wow, he went all the way with the makeup there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I give that one easily to Black Griffin. I the the the, the tone was there. So I think my impression is more like beats to beat the same, like I do a little falsetto flip in the right place. But I feel like he nailed the Britney Spears tone better than me. That that sounds more like Britney Spears to me. I'm gonna give a full point to Gabe, which means I'll, I'll make this one a full point and he gets another half point right there. So right now the score is four points for me, two and a half for Gabe. He's doing a comeback. He's doing a comeback. That looks lip sync to me, guys. I'm pretty sure he can't do that whole thing without breathing. Honestly. Let's just compare the audio. I'm gonna ignore that for now. It doesn't matter. I think none of us sounds a lot like Eminem. Actually, in my video the other day, the girl in the TikTok video sounded more like Eminem. I got Eminem more right than we do in this. However, he has half a point for, I'd say, doing a marginally better Eminem impressions. We got four for me, three for Gabe. Next one is Sean Paul, who actually challenged me in the other video. Now, Joel, really? I have a challenge for you, you know what I mean? Check that video out later if you want. Wow. Let me know if you want me to react to that. Okay, so he's done a production trick here, I gotta say. Which is that he's imitated the Sean Paul production, which is that he, he had a bunch of layered voices. I didn't do that because I wanted to show off, you know, my impression skills. You know, me me doing the vocal. He's doing something else here. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Let's compare that to mine. Well, oh man, the way the time call, I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Oh, Lord, girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on. And girl, I wanna be the papa, you can be the mom. Oh, oh. 
I think production wise his is closer because he did the dub but i think i nailed the voice better which is what counts let's just take one little detail for example that i thought about with my video so i think i say tactics instead of tactics and i think sean paul does that as well let's check exactly is this tactics i'm gonna give it to myself i think my tone is closer i think my pronunciation is closer i think that gabe needs to get wrecked son there we go five points to me three points to gabe so far let's keep going shall we that's a lie by the way it's not beer it's apple juice <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna give anyone a point there because obviously I will sound the most like myself. By the way, stream living for that on Spotify. Next one. That was total lip sync. Why did you use the original mix of your song? I thought you sang in your videos, Gabe. That was so obviously layered and fixed and whatever. Wow. Great. I got the horses in the bank. Horse bike is attached. Hat is mad at black. Got the bruises black to match. What was that? Did he even try? I got the horses in the back. Horse tag is attached. Hat is mad at black. Got the bruises black to match. I don't get what he was doing. He was doing like an actual country version. So weird. Oh. Well, except, see, Black Griffin, he wins because he had more of the tone correct. Oh, the mustache. I mean, that is commitment. I, 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 can, I can give him that. That's, that's, that's commitment. He sounds like Joe Swanson from Family Guy. The little. Doesn't sound like little I wouldn't say I'm doing a perfect impression, but my pronunciation is a lot closer. One more point for the roomy man. Six, three. Are you going to catch up? Are you going to do anything good soon, Gabe? I'm going to do it this time. I feel there's no one to save me. That was interesting. I liked this under thing. That was good. I'm going under in this time of fear. There's no one to save me. I'm doing under. He's doing under. Is it under or under? I'm going under in this under. I'm going under. In, I'm going under in this. I think Black Griffin. Griffin's one sounds like a cartoon version of Luis Capaldi. Mine sounds a little bit closer to the original. But sometimes when you exaggerate impressions, they do become more convincing. Under in this time of fear. There's no one to save me. I like some of the deep notes that Gabe has here. They're really close. I'm going to say this one is a toss up, honestly. I'm going to give us one point each for this one because he had great parts and almost bad parts, and I had just like good parts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know like why I did that. I don't even know like why I hit that. All I know is that I just came with that. Talk to her nice, so she won't fight back. Turn around, hit it from the back, back, back. Bend her down and I make it clap, clap, clap. I don't really want no fun. I don't really want no friends, no. I can hear the odd tune in this. He actually <laughs> did it. The mad lad went against his own principles and used auto tune on an auto tune. How funny that he mentions that because didn't I just say that? <laughs> it, well, in a different video, but still. Artist, and I'm not even gonna roast him about it. I think it's good. Well done. Gabe is sounding really good here. I think that the overall tonal quality is really good. I think it was a little bit weak on a couple things, like back, back, back. And now I'm, you know, overdoing it. But if you listen to the uh, original, it's so cool just how, like, back, back, like it's so much. And I think I did that a little bit more. I don't even know, like, why I hit that. All I know is that I just can't wait that. Talk to her nice, so she won't fight back. Turn around, hit it from the back, back, back. Mm. Listening back to it, I went for a little bit too much of a high tone. Like, my tone is a little bit too light. I think. But also, Rumi, he hit the, uh, the, the crackly voice. I don't think Bug Griffin did that. I, I, I'm trying to recall. <laughs> Gabe nailed the tone better. I think this one goes to Gabe. So we have seven, five, two. Really? I, I don't know. I, I kind of think Rumi takes that one. Me. Billy Eilish. So you're a tough guy. He doesn't really sound like a female here. I feel like he's using too much helium or something. He did a little bit longer of the song, but my impression of this is good. And yours is... I don't know, man. So you're a tough guy, like you're really rough guy. So I think my airiness is... Ruby's closer, I think. Gabe has this really 
actually good centered flow of air, but it's working against it with some of these impressions. That together with the helium, not a good combo, bro. I'm giving this one to myself. Yeah. Holy moly. I am pulling ahead once again. Feels good, man. Just He's singing it with like a very overly almost American accent. It's weird. Okay, let's listen to it. Yeah, that's I noticed that too. Man. Yeah, my open ass are way closer to Harry Styles's. We gotta get away from here. We gotta get away from here. I'm also open. Yeah, honestly, Rumi, Rumi pulled that one off. Uh, sorry, sorry, Gabe. ...up the vowels on all the right places. I know because I worked really hard on that impression. Harry has this amazing singing style, I think, where he opens up the vowels a lot. So, like, it's gotta get away. We gotta get away from here. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I gotta say, I sound pretty good doing that as well. There's a clear winner on this one. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about Harry Styles because I like Harry Styles a lot. Another point for the dog, for me. Made this here with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside when they pull up they give me loose That was not too bad actually, I kinda like that It's outside I'm just waiting for the uh, he, he comparison to the actual dude the D in the perfect way. Cause I've never actually he heard that song the D, He doesn't pronounce the D in like the right way There's many ways to kind of avoid saying the D And still make it sound like outside I think he did really well just like Travis here Let's listen to mine Made this here with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside when they pull up they give me loose it's very, very close, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give this one to Gabe. I thought that was good. His first phrase is... Okay, now hard. why? I think he made Wait. up for it in the second one. Come on, man! Ugh. He, he had to do that to me. Uh, okay, no, I've never heard of that uh, Travis Scott song. That's why I was waiting for him to play... Whatever. <laughs> I've heard Travis Scott. Shh. It's like a really weird dub thing or something going on here. It also sounds like the pitch down his vocal. I don't know, man. It sounds bizarre. It sounds really weird. Okay, let me listen to mine. Okay, so I think pay. He sings P. If he's right and it's actually P, whatever that is, I'll delete my channels. <laughs> Yeah, it's pay, it's not B. But it's just the price I pay. Definitely doesn't sound like that. Gotta give it to myself <laughs> once more. <We> got 10 <laughs> six. Okay, now I'm going to attempt a Freddie Mercury impression. In Rumi's video, he tried to distract you with a cheap joke because he was too chicken to attempt Freddie Mercury. Why? Why does an ad have to pop up? That ad didn't happen. I mean, it did, but I clicked off of it, but it didn't happen. I did nail it, though. That's really good. I do like that one. I'm gonna have to give it to him. I just, <laughs> okay, so I think that's a final score. I mean, this is my very biased opinion. 10 versus 7. I think he had some really good ones in there. Some were close, but who's the superior man? Wait, the video isn't over? What, what's he gonna do? Oh, by the way, Rumi, did you really think you could challenge me in a video and then rip up my grandpa's precious tissues without consequence? Did you think I would just... I don't know, improve on your best impressions and then not challenge you in return? Yes, you improved on seven of them. No. Have you ever done character impressions? I'm uh, pretty sure you never have. Time to play on my home field. Ha <laughs> ha. Still subscribed, precious. I'm coming for you. What are you talking about? I thought you also did singing impressions. That's why I challenged you. Otherwise, I'd challenge someone else. Whatever. Okay, guys, click here for more music reactions to things that are not Black Griffin. Things that are actually good. <laughs> Gabe is great as well. Check out his channel right here. He has some amazing videos. And no, I'm not doing character impressions. Why would I? <laughs> I don't have anything to prove to you, Gabe. My feud with Gabe is definitely 100% real and not a joke at all. See you tomorrow.
What? But, oh, that would have been such a good video if he did the character impressions. Come on, Rumi. Everybody, go to freaking Twitter or YouTube or whatever and just, like, spam Rumi. <laughs> Be like, we want character impressions. If, if you do, I know I would, but whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also, become a member on the channel if you'd like. I'll see you next time. All right, well, that's, that's over. One day I'll figure you out.